Hi Capricorn, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to be going over what you should be expecting for the week of June 24th. This can apply to your sun, moon, and rising. Um, in sidereal, tropical, or your progress chart, and you can find that all on astro.com. If my voice seems a little bit off, I woke up like almost an hour ago, so that's why. <laughs> Um, if you want to reach out to me on social media, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Simple Pluto. If this resonates with you, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want further insight, you can book a reading with me at SimplePluto.com. Um, make sure to read the description of the listing, and then we'll have most, if not all, of the information that you need to know, okay? And if you have any other further questions in, in terms of booking a reading with me, you can just go ahead and ask me. Contact me. <clears throat> um, if you like the video, uh, comment, share, subscribe, of course hit the like button, and yeah, happy cancer season, happy cancer season. So everything's opposing you right now, huh? I mean, everything has been opposing you for a while, we have so many cancer planets now, Venus is going to be in cancer soon, we have Mercury, Mars, the North Node. Lots going on, and now the sun. Now the sun, man. So much is going on. That was way too many cards. Alright, Capricorn, what's in store for you? What's in store for you, Capricorn? What's in store for Capricorn the week of June 24th? Six of Pentacles, an equal exchange of energy, of money, and how much are you willing to invest in something? It seems as though you've planted the seeds, right? You have invested your energy into something and you're getting, and it's being reciprocated. The energy is re being reciprocated because the plant is finally blooming. It's finally um, <laughs> growing its pentacles. You know, you're getting your, what is it? Your labor's worth. You know, you're reaping what you sow, essentially. Whatever you've been planting, it's finally blooming. However, I don't think it's ready yet. And I think, like, maybe you're a little bit impatient King of, King of Wands reversed. Maybe you're being a little bit impatient about this transaction, this business transaction. I feel like a lot of you is business Knight of Wands. So we have someone older and then we have someone younger that you might be interacting with. I don't know if you're the younger person or if you're the older person. Oh, this is from the Sagittarius video because we have Sagittarius right here. Okay, so in the Sagittarius video, I was saying how you were mentoring someone, right? And I was saying how you could be mentoring a Sagittarius right now or helping them out financially, Six of Pentacles, and maybe, you know, maybe you're getting a little bit restless, a little bit impatient with them because they still have a lot to learn. Of course they have a lot to learn. You don't just grow out of certain habits overnight. So maybe you're growing a little bit impatient. Maybe you're thinking yourself as superior as this person. Maybe you are just growing a little bit frustrated with them because they're still young. They're still a knight. They're not. They're not at your level yet, you know. But they're getting there. They're getting there. Sure, they're impulsive. Sure, they have a lot to learn. And sure, they could be a little bit immature. But it's all about balance and it's all about moderation. There's something that you can learn from each other, not just them from you. It's an equal exchange of energy. And if you feel tired out and if you feel as though maybe you're not getting much in return for your work and for your labor, ask them for something in return. 
you know? Solve the problem by asking for something in return. It doesn't necessarily have to be a material thing, although I wouldn't be surprised surprised if you want something material thing if, or if you want them to pay you. But if you feel compelled to, ask them for something in return, Capricorn. That way, because I, I really do think that they have a lot to learn from you and they can learn a lot from you, but it's, it's a matter of how much you can tolerate or how much you're willing to tolerate. If you're willing to tolerate the expansiveness of Sagittarius, the hugeness of Sagittarius, because that's what Sagittarius really is, the boundlessness of Sagittarius. They really do kind of have no bounds. They, nothing bounds them. Nothing binds them at all. Nothing really binds them on this earth, and they don't want to be bound. And you, Capricorn, ruled by Saturn, you are everything as bound. Like, you are... You are bound to everything. You are bound to Earth. You are bound to so much. You're confined in so many ways, I think. And not, and not necessarily in a bad way, but you are a little bit restricted. You are limited. And again, not in a bad way, but you're just completely opposite of what Jupiter offers, you know? At least in my opinion. Jupiter and, and Saturn are just very polar opposite planets and it seems that you guys are coming together and coming hopefully coming to a compromise hopefully coming to a middle ground and each of you are learning something new from the other person again an equal exchange of energy and both of you will come out the wiser so much wiser once the situation is kind of done and over with um Four of Pentacles reversed. Both of you are growing outside of your comfort zone, which is good. You're growing outside of your comfort zone, and I think both of you are having to learn not to be so frugal, you know? With Sagittarius, I said in the last video how they might have been very frugal or a little bit miserly, mostly because of the fact that they really didn't have much to spend. Um, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. No, I don't. Okay, um, I said how they didn't have any extra money to be spending recklessly. Like, they didn't have any sort of opportunity to spend recklessly. And so, now they have to grow out of that kind of broke mindset. They have to grow out of the frugal mindset. Because now they do have a little bit of leeway. For you, I would say that now that they're learning this, they can teach you to not be so miserly and frugal. Because I know, I know that you are very particular about your money, okay? You're very strict with your money. And you're not, you're kind of stingy. I'm not going to lie, you're kind of stingy. You're not necessarily the most generous when it comes to money. And... So maybe Sagittarius is here to teach you that it's okay to spend a little bit. Not necessarily recklessly, but it's okay to spend a little bit extra. It's okay to spend a little bit more and treat yourself, right? We have Death card reversed. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well, Capricorn. But, you know, you could be resistant to that change and you could be resistant to any sort of moder moderation and kind of be fixed um to what you want but i do think that there are there are inevitable changes that are coming your way and you can't really you can't avoid them um this is definitely a t oh sorry there's definitely a time where you have to grow outside of your comfort zone and let go of what you're clinging on to for so long or what you have been clinging on to for so long should i say and it's just time especially with eclipse season it's time to let go whatever it is that you're like a, a, like clinging on to i honestly think it could be any sort of material thing whether it's money or just other thing that you value so much um it's definitely time to loosen your reins on that to loosen your grip to loosen the iron grip because it's not really serving you and if anything it's restricting you and really preventing you from growing a lot as a person so I would just be considerate of that, to let go of anything that gives you basically a false sense of security, to let go of anything that, you know, at the end of the day is temporary, 
everything here is temporary. Money is temporary, um, a car is temporary, clothing is temporary, like it's all temporary, you know? So what is the purpose of clinging on to the thing that's no that, that's not even gonna be there for that long, you know? That's just something to be mindful of, you know? Don't be so resistant to the change because it, it is inevitably going to happen. It's going to happen either way, you know? Um, it's just a matter of whether it's going to happen with you willingly going along with it or you kind of pushing against it. But either way, it's going to happen. All right? So what I would say for you, Capricorn, is to be very patient with this Sagittarius specifically. And I think this is like a very specific message. So I don't, I highly doubt that many people are going to resonate with this. But for those who do, um, be a little bit more loose with your material things or with your money or just be a lot less strict about the way that you deal with money and stuff and be patient with the Sagittarius you're going to learn a very valuable lesson from this person this is all an energy exchange I think you're gonna you're going to learn a lot from one another and I think right now this person really needs you and they need you to mentor them and so that they can grow up and be better and not so impulsive and not so reckless with their money or with other material things or with other aspects of their life okay and let go of the false sense of security that you're holding on to okay all right I love you, Capricorn. Now, see you soon. Okay, bye.